Hello and welcome back to the Food Fog. Today is March 16th, 2013 and today is my 40th birthday so um, as I enter midlife here um, I thought I would kind of reflect back on um, my journey to clear the food fog and um, just kind of give an update since it's been a while. Um, I guess this whole process of you know finding balance in my life with food and um, well it's been about well I started eight years ago with the intention to lose a lot of weight but then about four years ago I could kind of give a raw review of my raw food diet experience um, about well five years ago I started getting really interested in um, more natural foods and more cleaner um, eating and um, whole foods uh, as opposed to process a lot of processed foods and I was on a vegan diet, but I was eating a lot of um, vegan convenience foods and, you know, um, just packaged foods and things like that and counting calories in the beginning. And um, as that evolved, uh, I got more interested in just health in general and um, how, thing, how foods affected me. And I'd always been plagued with really bad digestion, and so I was always trying to find patterns of consumption that worked for me. And... Um, so about four years ago, I started on this 100-day um, raw food challenge, and it just kind of stuck. I just, um, it really resonated with me, and I said, you know, this is really interesting. I want to see where this takes me. And I never really thought, like, of a timeline, or um, I'd never eat cooked food again. I just said, well, I'm just going to, you know, see how this goes. And four years later, it's really developed into uh, a real lifestyle, and, um, so I thought I'd give you know just some insights on that and how eating a raw food diet. Um, I guess I would say my diet's probably about 99% raw, with the exception of like some condiments and stuff. I don't like to get too dogmatic about it, or or even to say I'll never eat cooked food again. I don't believe um, cooked food is the you know evil or anything. And actually, I I like to give a uh, you know I'd like to discuss that at another time um, uh, as another video, but. But um, just basically how cleaning up my diet and really, um, you know, uh, examining the use of food in my life and the quality of food in my life, how it has trickled down into um, and reflected in other patterns of consumption in my life. Um, you know, over time, it definitely has reflected in my environment, in my spending and consumer habits. It's made me reflect on how I spend money, how I use money, um, how I the the things the the things and the stuff I have around me in my life and I just naturally began to kind of um, as I began to remove excess from my body and and diet I began to move, remove excess from my life um, as well but just like weight loss it doesn't happen in a day and it's still evolving it's still a process um, you know I've really um, I think I've I've cleared the food fog so to speak but um, you know, I still have my head in the clouds some days, and um, I've acknowledged this is really a journey and a process, and um, I'm really in it for the long haul. I don't hold myself to anybody else's standards. I'm really, really passionate about, um, you know, when you, when you want to improve your health, I'm really passionate about making it a creative process, making it your journey looking at the resources you have and using them in a, in a way that inspires you and, um, to create a life that you're excited about and you know YouTube and um, social media is a great way to connect and to find and give inspiration and um, and then you have such an um, abundance of resources available to you too at the internet but also just the natural resources you have available these days um, at least most of us here in the western world we have you know Anything we want, we can we can get in terms of um, natural foods. Now, of course, it's it's um, best if you're growing more of your own and, and getting back in touch with nature a little more. But we really have access to so much here, and um, so use those resources um, as uh, tools in your journey. And um, like I said, I'm I'm really I really believe like whole natural foods, um, whether you're vegan or not, or um, whatever your choice is there. I think getting away from packaged processed foods, when you do that you really start to to you know open little windows in your mind and things start to clear out a little bit and um, 
you'd be surprised at some of the the um, things you uncover. So I encourage everyone to uh, really like relabel and really think about what you're what you're putting in yourself and and what it's producing. So, um, but yeah, so it really has trickled down into my whole life and um, over the last couple years, you know, we really got real with our debt situation and what we were willing to accept um, as debt and, and we just got to the point where we were like, no, I'm just not willing to accept that I'm going, I want that item, but I'm not, I don't want to, you know, owe we, somebody else for it for any length of period of time, so I'm going to have to find a different way to get it, or I'm going to have to wait, and um, it, there, there was some growing pains in that process, but we really started to evolve to a much better place with, with um, our finances, and our, our home is much more cleared out, and, and sparse, and comfortable, and it's just, it's just been a process, and it's inspiring to me, so um, everybody has a different path, and different things will inspire them. And everybody has different tools they use in their creative um, journey, but but um, I like I said, I really encourage everyone to look at it as a creative process, not a diet or or a weight loss plan. That's you know just with the sole goal of losing weight or looking better or that kind of thing. So um, yeah, and um, basically this has been my this raw food thing has been my experiment and. Um, I don't know um, what the future will bring other than um, I'm feeling good now and I'm open-minded. Um, if, you know, different situations arose where I needed to tweak my diet, then I would. Um, right now, in, in terms of my update or whatever, my current goals for myself, um, you know, I'm turning 40. I weigh the same as I have pretty much for years. But everything's shifted, and so I'm feeling not so fit sometimes. And so that's my next goal, I guess, would be to hop on the fitness bandwagon a little more. I walk and I rebound, but I'm not a vigorous exerciser. And I really, I really, occasionally I'll like push myself and run and sweat or whatever. And and I realize in those moments, like that's where it's at. You have to burn that. If you're going to eat really clean, you're going to eat a lot of especially fruit where it gives you a lot of high energy. If you just sit, it's not good for you. It'll 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 come up in some other way. You gotta you gotta burn that off and you gotta um you gotta really use that energy so and it feels really good and it builds muscle and I've really felt like in my stomach area that um just things have kind of shifted and I'm feeling kind of like definitely the need for strength in my core. So you know I'm looking back into getting back into yoga and um working with stuff like that to just feel better and tweak my health and um, like I said not hold myself to any standard not rush myself on any deadline to really I, I've learned to not push things to not to resist because whenever you're resisting something you're 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 creating stress and so I just kind of listen to my intuition I have you know like I said my, my diet tends to be pretty simple and basic some days like I'll just uh, you know, take it really easy and rest and and eat one fruit all day and that's really easy for me to do now, really enjoyable, whereas, you know, years ago that would have been felt really um, like I was depriving myself. So there's just different things I do now to um, play around with how I feel and I keep kind of a, a, a journal and, and, and record of this and I love taking pictures of all the things we eat and posting those and and um, it's just fun, it's just fun, it's a, it's a process and my, my main goal is just to keep balance in my life so that I have good mental clarity to enjoy everything around me, my kids, um, and to keep creating goals for myself and create, creating um, new challenges that, that I, can, I can tackle and, and have fun with. So, um, so yeah, basically it's been an evolution and um, I still have things to work on but I'm really enjoying it. and. I love this resource. I love connecting with people um, online. So please send me your comments and um, you know suggestions or ideas. Um, and I love to hear um, how you're doing on your process of clearing the food food fog. So I know it's a it's a journey for everyone. So um, take care and uh, enjoy your St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Make sure you eat something green. Uh, see you soon. Bye bye.